G'day everybody, this is Grandad Jack and I'm back and I'm looking for um, some interesting bridges. I'd like to do some videos on interesting old wooden bridges of different types. So today I'm in central Victoria, Australia and there's one in particular I'd like to have a look at. It's been here for a long time but it's like really old so hmm. Might have to change my hat because it's quite sunny out there. Yeah, that's better. So let's go and see if we can find this bridge. Uh, it's called the Pylong Trestle Bridge. Just driving along this track here, I can see it through the trees. My goodness. That does look interesting. This is an old road here. But there's a bridge. Look at that. That is uh, really interesting. I think we should go and have a look. So here we are at the bridge site. It's uh, actually called the Mollison's Creek Bridge and it's in a town called Pyalong. Funny name, Pyalong. Hmm, wonder where they got that one. Anyway, this must be Mollison's Creek because that's where the bridge is. So let's go have a look, shall we? So just walking along this track, I can see the bridge and it looks amazing. The bridge is over a hundred years old. It was built in 1889, uh, which is about 130 years. And it is built from hardwood timber. And it's about 400 feet long or 130 meters. It's approximately 60 feet high. The span of the timber is about five meters or roughly 18 feet and it's for a broad gauge railway this one victorian railways had mainly five foot three inch gauge which was broad gauge they also had narrow gauge which was two foot six inch and that was in different parts of victoria as well you'll see a big bulge in the, the bridge here it's actually starting to collapse I love seeing how they built these old structures because it was all hand done with an axe and with a shovel and just basic tools. This is having a look down through the middle of the trestle bridge. There was a lot of times when the timber that the timber cutters cut weren't long enough for the job, so they just used to join them, putting a timber cleat on either side of the join, and that way they could extend the length of the wood. They've done the same here also with the posts. If the posts are not long enough, they just put a cleat on between the top and bottom post and join them up. Put lots of bolts in and job done. They've put cleats on four sides of the post in this case. So that's the um, Morrison Creek Bridge as they call it. And it's in a little town called Pylong. Certainly isn't in great condition these days. In fact, it's going to fall down. So that's why I wanted to film it and just get a bit of history before it's a pile of lumber on the ground. So I just find this old bridge really interesting. 
In fact, I'm actually thinking on making a model of this bridge, certainly one similar, and uh, we can have a look at that because I like making model bridges as well as larger ones for my bigger railroad. Yeah, I reckon indeed this would make a great model on a model railway layout. So I have to look at building uh, one of these trestle bents, as they call them, and see what it looks like. Climbing up the hill here to get a better look. Uh, they've got it fenced off so nobody walks across it in case somebody falls through the rotten timber. You can't actually see much though because it's all fenced off. You can see in the middle where it's starting to collapse as well. In the middle of the bridge there's a platform uh, so that if anyone's crossing the bridge when a train's coming, they have somewhere to step onto rather than fall off the bridge. There was just not enough room on the bridge itself uh, to stand for an tr oncoming train to go past. It would knock you off the bridge anyway and you could fall to your death. They've got this bridge barricaded off and uh, there's even a tree that's split away from another one and it's fallen right on top of the bridge I've gone a bit further along where this railway went and there's this massive cutting through this hill there's no railway track left but you can see where the railway line went and I'm on a bit of a road that crosses it but the this is a massive cutting that the railway went through sort of a bit overgrown with trees and stuff but um i'm gonna go down a bit further and see what i can find so i've gone a bit further down the road following this old railway line and i've come across something interesting. Believe it or not, there's another old bridge. Huh. How do you like that? Let's go have a look. I'm not sure what this bridge is called because I don't know what the name of the creek is. But it's not as big as the other one not as high but it looks pretty long huh. look at that another old bridge this one they put stays in the side of it to try and strengthen it This one's built exactly the same as the other one. It looks like it's either red gum or iron bark or yellow box timber. And it's pretty heavy stuff, pretty solid. And again, it's kind of rotting through off on the surface. They used to put ballast on these bridges, so they had to make them pretty solid. And they have double stringers on each side for extra strength. This is the same as the other one, it's strictly keep off. 
but you can see how they had ballast on the bridge. I don't want to walk through along that one, I'll likely to fall through a hole. Too dangerous. So there you have it. It's another adventure with Grandad Jack. Finding old train bridges. Pretty neat actually, there's quite a few that I'd like to have a look at in my travels. A lot of the interesting ones are old disused bridges that they don't really use anymore. So I hope you've enjoyed this interesting little session with Grandad Jack. I hope you subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.